going on, Pokemon trainers? Welcome to episode 107 of Gotta Watch Them All, the podcast that brings together trainers from every corner of Pokemon fandom before watching along with an episode of Pokemon the series starting all the way back at episode 1. But today we're going to be watching episode 107. Hello, Pumelo. Gotta Watch Them All is part of the Pokemon Professor Network, and today is Sunday, September 13th, 2020. I'm one of your hosts, Ken Pescatore, joined by my co-host, Adam Tuttle. Adam, what's up, man? How are you? Welcome, trainers. What's going on? Um, well, you asked what's going on, but it's really what isn't going on. What isn't going on? There's too much stuff in the Pokemon world. Too much. <laughs> so much. It's well, mind-boggling. So the there's going to be there's really a lot of uh, there's one big piece of news that we're not going to cover on this week's show because I want to send everyone over to the special conditions podcast and that's the announcement of Players Cup two, Adam. I'm sure that you're 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 thinking about it a lot, right? I already <laughs> have a deck built and I've been playing yes. and I've had several win streaks of six, seven. Um, I made it all the way up to the first ladder. Just, just by playing the one deck that I built in our um, kind of like Monday Night League is what I'm going to call it in our Discord for a Zoom call. Was that, is that the Lapras? That's the Lapras deck. Oh, yeah, you're telling me. Yeah, that's awesome. That's great. That's uh, All right, but we're not going to cover Players, Players Cup this week. We'll talk about it next week, but definitely check out Special Conditions Podcast for all the latest on Players Cup as far as TCG is concerned. Okay, here we go. We've got a little bit of everything to talk about. Um, Pokemon Masters EX actually rebranded. That's right, EX. They added an EX to their name. It was, happened about two weeks ago, but I figured we, we'd talk about it because we didn't cover it yet on the show. They did release a trailer. If you haven't seen it yet, you need to see it because the trailer is absolutely amazing. Very, very cool animation. Uh, we're going to take a look at some Darkness of Blades cards that you're going to want to put in your collection. Adam, I know you've been on the, the hunt and on the prowl with Darkness of Blaze, and you've had some some pretty solid pulls. We'll get there, and then we'll finally do our rewatch of Pokemon the Series, Episode 107, Hello, Pumelo. All right, let's start with uh, Pokemon Masters. So, you know, we've, we've covered this game kind of like sporadically whenever there's been like a news drop or a press release or anything like that. We've, we've talked about it, and... What we have the kind of like constant vibe of when we talk about this game, it is that DNA has like really come through with adding so much to the game and developing it and keeping good on their word of like doubling down and you know making new content. So I guess for their one year anniversary, they 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 kind they rebranded and they added EX to the name of Pokemon Masters. So Pokemon Masters is actually now Pokemon Masters EX. So that kind of shows that there's been uh, you know some upgrades, which is great. Um, but well, it just means that when they get knocked down, they're going to have to take two, like they get two prizes. Two prizes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's right. EX cards only take two prizes, but no, it, it, it's interesting, but, um, you know, they, they have to, I, I guess they're trying to just show their growth, show that they're, they're different from what it is to make it look like, uh, you know, a new game because it really is a new game compared to when it, when it first launched now to celebrate the anniversary, they're releasing, uh, Cygnus suit versions of Blue, Red, and Leaf, uh, and Cynthia. And we also have uh, other, oh, six-star sync pairs. So five-star sync pairs have been the highest, like the most powerful tier of of trainers in the game. Now they're releasing uh, six-star sync pairs, which is going to be interesting because we'll see how that has to, like, go in the long term because people were so focused on building up to just five stars. So that's kind of cool. Uh, we have um, just yesterday they announced a grass, fire, and water type event uh, where you can earn eggs from uh, you can earn yeah eggs from battles that can hatch into Kanto starters. This is the first chance for players to get the uh, all three starters on your team. I like so, that. I like yeah, that a lot. And shiny, shiny's available too. I, I don't know how soft resetting or if that's even a thing in Masters, but uh, I'd imagine you have one shot at the shiny, but they could be shiny. Uh, and any way you look at it, we, we've said it a lot on this show, uh, Pokemon Masters DX has made true to their promise of continued development uh, and the support for the title in general, and it looks like the, the momentum is going to continue going through the end of the year. They're doing more story stuff. I don't know. 
It's it's I, I haven't played it and I feel so bad. I talk about it all the time and it like it, it just seems so cool. I'm just 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 not up with it. My my phone time is taken by Pokemon Go. Yeah, and mine's taken by Pokemon Go and now well I can't do it on my phone, but I'm I have to put the phone down and start playing PTCGO. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I do. And I am. <laughs> <laughs> Well, talk to us about Darkness of Blaze because I think that um, that this is a pretty exciting set for for collectors, not just competitors, right? Right. Um, so, I mean, there's a lot of cards in this set that are unique to the format. So, with the release of the set, we got you know everybody's favorite Charizard V Max and Charizard V. That's how, dude. That's how you sell cards. That just, is how you sell cards. That is what just, this entire set on the box. <laughs> is based on. The set was like, oh, Charizard V Max, you must get this set. Because I, I don't think this set would have sold as as well. Did and you th- see the hyper rare, dude? Did you see the V Max Charizard hyper rare? I, yes. It's In Champion's so Path, the next it is set coming. So pretty. We're, we're just going to skip Darkness of Blaze for two seconds and just jump straight into the next set that's coming out, Champion's yeah. Path. It yeah. comes out <laughs> September 25th, and if you do not have anything pre-ordered, you might not have the luck of you, finding it. You might have missed the boat. Yeah, they, yeah, it, it's crazy right now. It's crazy. Like, this this could be another Hidden Fates. This like is another is. Hidden Fates, because in Hidden Fates, you had a shiny Charizard gx but and in this set you have a shiny shiny. charizard v and you also have a charizard v max hyper rare yeah making this 70 card set absolutely bonkers good uh, luck it's all i'm gonna say good luck dollar lead trainer box it's like you know a little bit larger price tag and uh, yeah, they're they're pretty much sold out everywhere. It's but because anyway, the Elite right. Trainer box comes with a Charizard V Charizard, promo, yeah. which is a full art. So <laughs> <Yep>. it's, <sighs> uh, it's uh, all right, all right. Well, all we're right. getting ahead of ourselves. Go, he- let's head back to the world of of Darkness of Blaze. <laughs> so, in this article from Pokemon.com, they kind of just highlight a lot of Pokemon that you definitely need, and I do agree with a lot of this. So, Sentent. Oh my god. Sent to Scorch V Max. <laughs> I almost called it Sentence. I, I want Sententa to I, Scorch. so badly. Sentence Scorch. This thing is brutal. For two colorless energies, it does 40 plus 40 more for each fire attached to it. So and then you can attach a fire from your discard to it. So this thing can just keep getting power more powerful and more powerful and more powerful. And then you can combine that with welder. You can combine that with heat energy to give it 20 extra hit points to it's already 320 hit points. So this thing can be unstoppable cards that do more damage with extra fire energy attached in the welder situation are, are scary because you could just keep stacking energy. Very. And then you've got Volcanion. So like turn two, like, well, if you go for, yeah, yeah, yeah. turn two, if you go for, if you go second and you go first, or well, if you go second on your first turn, you can attach to um, Volcanion, and you can get three energies on this bad boy. Turn one, <laughs> yeah. turn, and, th- and then turn two, you can attach for your turn. So there's four, and then you can welder two more, so you can get six energy on this thing. That's yeah, uh, that's, 280, that's, 280 that's damage sick. potential. That's insane. Yeah, that's Absolutely. a lot of V cards. That's a lot of V cards. Speaking of V cards. We also got Eternatus and Eternatus VMAX. And yep. Eternatus VMAX has the ability that lets you play eight bench Pokemon if you have all dark Pokemon in play. And then you yeah. can't play anything that's not dark. And for a darkness and a colorless, it does 30 damage times the amount of Poke- uh, dark Pokemon that are in play, including itself. So again, yeah. another 240 damage, I believe that that equates to. I think if I yeah. do my math correct, it, that's... it makes it's so scary for lower hit point Pokemon. Like there's just there's they don't stand a chance, right? And it's like you've got Crobat V in the format, which is also in this list, which is a must have. If you don't have a Crobat V, you need to get one. It's it's in the same ball ballpark as uh, Dedenne, or it's in the same genre. 
if you want to be drawing cards, you want you want Crobat in your deck, especially in this because Eternatus can only have dark Pokemon. So every turn you can play a Crobat and draw until you have six. It's an amazing yeah, yeah. support card. Mm. They go on. They go on to talk about um, Vicavolt, uh, and that that one basically it stops your opponent from playing item cards, which is huge. So if you can yeah. trap them up there, and trap them in the active position, do a bunch of damage, and make it so they can't use switch, and then bring out whatever you need to to clean up, aka uh, Pikachu Zekrom, and then you can do its its a uh, big tag bolt for. Uh, I believe 200 at the active and then 170 to a bench Pokemon. Wow. Yeah. You can set up some crazy plays. Well, and what about this, this mad tea party? And I know you talked about this on special conditions, maybe an episode or two ago. Like what's up with this mad party? Cause this is like the uh, spiritual successor to night March, right? Yep. So there's a bunch of Pokemon in the set. There is pull T Geist, which has the ability T bomb or tea break, sorry. If you discard a Pokemon with Mad Party from your hand, you can draw two cards. So it's got um, Sinchino's Make Do ability, but specifically for Mad Party. For Mad Party, right. And right. each of these Pokemon have the attack Mad Party, which does 20 damage times the amount of Pokemon in your discard with Mad Party. And I believe mm. there's there's 16 in total. So you can have 15 in the in the discard, so you can be, do a total of 300 damage. Right, for, yeah, okay. And mix that with, you know, Professor Sycamore, um, this tea break ability, and Dedenes, and Quick Balls, and just being able to cycle through so many cards and get them in the discard so quickly. And then there's also, we have that new twin energy. So Bunnelby can attack for a twin energy. Um, it's it, it, it just seems like there's so many new cards, like new... New cards that are setting up new me- spins on old mechanics. Like they're, it's awesome the way the 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 mechanics are being rolled out. You know what I mean? Like they add stuff, they take it away. They add stuff, they take it away. Every every set. Yes, you know, and they just... and Pokemon knows how powerful this this type of deck is. So they immediately gave you uh, Sinisty. That thing only has thirty hit points. They gave you Bunnelby mm. instead of its normal you know, 60, 70 hit points, it's got 40. Yeah, yeah. They they did that stuff on purpose. And the only high hit point evolution is Galarian Mr. Rhyme, but his is three energies. I, th- I believe it's a two colorless and a water. So it's just an awkward energy investment. So you mm. just play that simply to discard it. Right. And, and same thing with Dedenne. Dedenne is uh, psychic and two colorless. So it's just like, those are kind of useless because they can't attack for one energy. And the the way that this deck is so powerful is that you also have access to, um, I believe it's, uh, it's a, it's a triple, a triple acceleration energy, I think. And it's for an evolution Pokemon and then it gets discarded at the end of the turn. So, and you only need it for one attack because this deck, basically you are aiming to use uh, like three energies because you want to be able to get either um, EX Pokemon or not EX V or GX Pokemon to take extra prizes. Right. So it, right. it does struggle mm-hmm. a little bit against single prizers because single prizers don't have to do much to knock these guys out. Cause like I said, they have 30, 40, 60 hit points. Like it's right, right, right. Now that's an interesting balance to have to strategize with this deck. So that's kind of cool. Right. And it makes it difficult because they have such low, eight, low hit points that any spread style decks could easily knock all of their Pokemon out in one go, especially because they're in an Eternatus. There's also the Galarian Zigzagoon. So if they can get multiple Zigzagoons down, which drop a damage counter on something, if they if they oh, put yeah, two yeah. down and then you scoop up net and then put a third down, that pull, that uh, sinisty is gone and they get a free prize without even attacking. Yeah, Woo-hoo-hoo. that's awesome. Awesome. Well, I mean, it, it's it seems like Darkness of Blaze has added a lot of uh, new dimension to the uh, to the game. And that's, it sh- that's it sure has. No, that's that's super exciting. Super exciting. Listen to uh, Special Conditions podcast for for more TCG goodness on that. Definitely. 
And uh, we're going to jump over to Pokemon Go real quick, but we're, we, we won't spend too much time here. This has been like an interesting week for Pokemon Go. It's kind of, uh, you know, the last week Niantic took, uh, the entire company took a holiday for like uh, employee wellness. And, you know, this is much needed. They've been going through some crazy stuff with how, you know, everything that they're displaced, they haven't been in the, in the office and, you know, all the pivoting that they've done for COVID and all this crazy, you know, all the release of all this stuff remotely. So this has been like a, a very chill week for Go. Adam, is it, is it, is this, are you taking this time to kind of like step back a little bit or relax? Yeah, I've been less focused on the game just in general. I, I haven't been PvPing. I haven't been raiding. Uh, especially with Cresselia coming back, I am not interested. I've gotten several remote invites, and I just haven't accepted any of them. Do you uh, do you have the shiny for Cresselia? I do have the shiny. So okay. It, All right. So I can understand how people felt about Heatran now, where it's just well, like but it's just the not good part, exciting it, for me. Right, but the good part is we only have Cresselia for a week, so you don't have to wait that much longer to get a new Pokemon, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so that that's good. But uh, what about Megas? Are you doing Megas? I have done a couple. Uh, I'm still not where I want to be with Blastoise and Venusaur candy, or yeah. Mega Stones, or whatever you call yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> whatever we call it, Mega Energy. <laughs> but no, it, it's it, it's been a slow week. It, it's been chill. Everyone's kind of taking a, a little bit of a step back. Uh, we, we've, we're at the tail end of season three of, uh, go battle league. So we're, you know, that's winding down. People are scrambling to get their, you know, their, their highest rank and, you know, yeah, Cresselia, they're the recycling bosses, you know? So, uh, I think Niantic is going to come back to work on Monday and they're going to ultimately have to announce mega Beedrill. I mean, Pidgeot, Pidgeot, yep. Mega Pidgeot. And then they also have to do ultimately Mega Houndoom, which is up for up for grabs this week. So they're going to have to make those announcements. There's going to be new Pokemon, so that will, I think, re-energize the uh, the game a bit with you know, a hundred percent. Yep, better better raid bosses for sure. But check out Lured Up, you know, for for all the Pokemon Go stuff. Uh, we've been covering this stuff and the flow of the game in detail. We've got uh, Porygon Community Day coming up pretty soon. And, uh, you know, it's we've got Halloween PvP stuff. There's, there's a lot going on. Just check out Lured Up for uh, for all the, the Go stuff. Uh, Adam, before we take a break, why don't you um, why don't you let us know what's going on over at Pokemon Center? There's been like a deluge of new product. See, I thought you were going Deli Bird there, and I got excited. A Deli like, Bird of new product. It was just dropping presents. Yes, Deli Bird came and filled up the inventory with new products. <laughs> Listen, we got a bunch of new Halloween costume Pokemon, and it's yeah, not just cute. Pikachu in costumes. Uh, we have like we have like Pikachu in a Hatiana or Hatena, Hatern, Hatern, Hatern. I don't know. Whatever. It's it's a hat. It's a hatted Pikachu, and I think it's just an excuse to get Pikachu in a hat. To be honest, and then you have like a Moripeko with a Gengar kind of like cape on it. It looks awesome. It looks awesome, but just kind of awkward, in my opinion. Just a little bit like. I just, I don't know. It's weird. That's my think, favorite th- one at all. Of I them. think they're trying to like pull a Pikachu out of Morapeko. And then you've got Whimsicott, <sighs> but it's got like the Galarian Weezing like top hats on it. Yeah, it's very It's cool. super adorable. Very cool. And then you've got Yamper with Zigzagoon's outfit. Yeah. Galarian Zigzagoon. But it looks almost like at first glance, I thought it was like Sylveon or. I thought it was Sylveon too. Or at Xerneas. First yeah. So I yeah. think. I think missed opportunity there. Um, and then you have like little keychains with uh, a score bunny with like a Nicket hat, which is they, honestly yeah, little, wicked little cute. Guys. And that's, yep. a, I think that's a, you know, a callback to the Pokemon journey series that's going on Netflix right now. So that's, hmm. that's really cool. And then there's these wicked, wicked, cool haunted Pokemon village, little like, is it bad that I want all of these? It's not bad. I think this I want is. All, this I is, want all of them. This is like the new norm. Like I think Halloween is a big thing. I and want I all think, of them. And I think Christmas is a big thing. So I can't wait to see what they do for Christmas, <clears throat> Deli Bird. Um, well, no, no. Look, look. Pe- just so so we can paint paint a picture here. 
everyone knows like the Christmas village, right? Like the little miniature city, you know, town of the Christmas thing from under the tree with the snow and lights and all that stuff. This is like little houses for a Halloween village. It's so cool. They are so cool. I like there's like the the Trevenant one in the Cafagricus. So good. That is so good. And then they're they have also like, good. Yeah, it's it amazing. And what are they? Forty bucks. Forty bucks. Yeah, yeah. Really Very cool, reasonable. Though. And really you cool. need them if you're. A they Halloween just call freak. them figures. They call them figures. They're just like Halloween figures. It's just like, but it's, it's just like a little house. So cool. It's just the aesthetics. And then there's a ton of like throw pillows, and just so so cool that like they're getting into like home decor now. Yeah, yeah. And there's it's these a- these uh postcards or not postcard what are they dry erase boards they're little dry erase boards with like uh to do's and and calendar dates and stuff like that that's what i need i need to get organized yeah there's some picture frames and then there's these outstanding uh i don't know how to say it (laughs) yes i was waiting for it kotobukiya and there's a skyla with swana and then a Elsa or Elisa with a Molga. Only these the, this is are these are only stunning. for the ballers. They're only for the ballers, though. Right. It's a hundred and thirty dollar figure. Like, you know, I hope to do well in my life one day, and and that's be doing well enough to to rock a hundred thirty dollars for a figure <laughs> is pretty good. Like, that's a that's an expensive figure. That's you a very know. expensive figure. I, I can't I can't go over thirty for a figure. <laughs> That's my figure budget. It's and like, then there's also some new TCG product, but it's basic. I mean, we I've covered it on the special conditions podcast. But if you are interested in Eternatus V Max and the V card, there's a full art and a alternate art of the V and V Max. Yeah, little Is collection that, box. Yeah, the premium collection, right? Yep. 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 I think it's forty bucks as well but all right let's uh let's take a quick break when we come back we'll watch our amazon prime video of our episode and uh we'll go from there you ready to take a little break yeah sounds good all right we'll be back right after this And we're back from our break. Thank you so much for that. A little housekeeping to get through before we watch uh, watch along with our episode. Uh, this podcast is powered by Patreon. Please check ours out over at patreon.com slash Pokemon Professor, where you can support the show for as little as $1 a month. And that $1 will get you access to our patron-exclusive Discord, which is a fantastic place filled with fantastic people. And if Patreon isn't your thing, there's still a couple other ways you can help us out. If you're listening on YouTube, you can subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications. And if you're listening via a podcast service like Apple Podcasts, you can take a moment to leave us a review. We're just about to hit a thousand subs on YouTube, so we could, uh, definitely appreciate your help with a sub over there. Uh, also, our merch store is now up, PokemonProfessor.com slash merch. All right, uh, one little bit of miscellaneous news here. Sword and Shield, uh, Wild Area News. There's They've been shifting, like, boosted Pokemon around. Uh, grass and Electric Pokemon, like Toxtricity, uh, Flapple, and Appleton are G-Max right now. Um, it runs through the 30th of the month. So uh, this is just... I, I just love how they've just constantly kept the, the Wild Area fresh by, you know, shifting around the, the Gigantamax Pokemon and the, the featured Pokemon. I love it. But uh, I think we're ready to watch along, Adam. You have I think your Amazon I'm ready to watch Prime along. video. All right. Yep. So this is uh, episode 107. Hello, Pumelo. Original air date in Japan was September 2nd, 1999, and was currently uh, oh, and was episode 111 in the original lineup. In the U.S., it was released on September 23rd, 2000, and is currently episode 107. Remember, we're still four episodes off from the Japanese run. Uh, if you're keeping score, this is Adventures in the Orange Islands, episode 55. Again, creeping closer and closer to the end of the Orange Islands. But, Adam, if you are ready, we can uh, we can get this party started. Let's get this party started. All right, and just remember... This we're mad gonna, party uh, started. We're going to start our episode, and uh, we're going to jump past the... 
uh, intro song just because of copyright, and we'll uh, see it in one second. All right, three, two, one, go. Battle music well, and Lapras. Yeah. Is that your uh, your TCG deck right there? Yep, there After it is. All in one. Orange League badges. <laughs> Ash and his friends are headed for the Orange League, where he's confident he'll capture. Look, the actual league. like we're getting somewhere in the Nothing's plot. Gonna stop us now. They're heading to Plot Island. <laughs> okay. Be really funny if Tracy was like in this Plot Island. Ridiculous. Ash should never have fallen. Yes. I, I love this. I love it too. Because it's so like it's, Pokemon like the, the first movie. Music. Pokemon the first movie. Yeah, it's it's, it's in the first movie. I know. No, mu music was definitely triumphant there and Another then like one, it comes eh? back into some really cool music. All four of these badges. Like what's this what's up with the scanner right here? Scanning the four badges to make sure they're real? Well now, so funny. Says here you come I don't know. From it town, must be a Ash, like a diamond tester. Is that right? Yeah, that's my hometown. <laughs> oh, there's Dragonite. This statue sure looks familiar. I'm just gonna put it out there. I really want Dragonite okay, with the messenger bag as a costume in Pokemon Go. Okay, thank you. <laughs> that would actually be wicked cool. Right, I would love that. Going, uh, Ash, I think you're forgetting something. Oh yeah, like what? Like directions to the stadium? Uh. <laughs> what would Ash do without Misty? Well, there it is. Pumalo Stadium. Where you'll have Pumalo Stadium. Wow, it's huge. And it looks like some place in like Greek or Greece. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Palace of Victory? Well, Ooh, that's the Palace of Victory. Name. But most folks know it now as the Orange League. So we have I love this audio. <laughs> how he walks in. And the it's audio like it turns into a changes. reverb. Oh, yeah, yeah, I love, I love that small detail. Are here to honor every trainer who's yeah, he's like in a hall, in like a museum the style, the like stone pillars. Oh. Looks to get awesome. Into the hall, a trainer has to defeat the four members of the orange group and the Pumalo gym leader in a so he's Pokemon pretty much battle. just given the backstory of That's what the orange league is all about. Six Pokemon. Six Pokemon. Whoa, six Pokemon battle. This isn't gonna be easy. You'll have to think hard about the Pokemon you're going to use. And a six on six Pokemon match could last a pretty long time. It's awesome. But you'd be in the Hall of Fame and I do love that the reverb still Just continues. Me, yep. honored in the Hall of Fame forever. Maybe even longer. I'm sure you all must have noticed that competition in each one of the Orange Island gyms is very different. That's because the Orange so, team believes it's important to test both trainers and I want I want to see Ash throw down. Yeah, these these challenges were fun in all the different gyms, but I want to I want to see Ash throw down. Yes. We need some actual fights. <laughs> and what's that statue doing here? Oh, that's a Dragonite, the legendary Pokémon that guards this island. It's not a legendary. I knew it. Dragonite. Yeah, it's so strange. But they still call it legendary. Any known Pokemon. Yeah, well, there's been so many weird, like, speed stats about it in the oh, Pokedex entries and stuff, like, Dragonite super crazy. Some exercise. He has a Dragonite? No way! Yes, Dragonite's the reason nobody's ever beaten Drake. Oh, well, it sounds like a challenge, that. Ash. Yeah, nobody's yeah. ever beaten him. I wonder if they'll ever be a challenger strong enough to triumph over us. I'm <laughs> so cocky. <laughs> nice dragonite. Huh? Very nice. <laughs> yeah. So Is like the the, the the like worst possible people like to think that and they could I step to this double. this dude I'll with the dragonite. <laughs> like what can Team Rocket do possibly do to this trainer? Nothing. I just want to see them like throw out their Pokemon and just be like, go attack. <laughs> Dragonite just whack, wallops them. That's right. If you've come to battle me, you'll have to apply. <laughs> we wouldn't dream of battling the champion. Who cares about a trophy? <laughs> They're like, no, we we, our, our writing skills are horrible. You can't be serious. <laughs> deadly serious. Yeah, Seriously they're serious. Deadly. Dude, they're Either really way. serious. Like, that's how Dragonite, they roll. They're just going to say it. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> and, and then that Dragonite, when he did that with his eyes, that was like a callback to that uh, 
the Dragonite and the Sea. Yeah, the the Godzilla one. Yes. I choose <laughs> yes. everybody. I choose everybody. So how many Pokemon does Ash have on him? Is it six? Four, five. No, it was only five. Oh, it's Snorlax. Oh, so six. Yeah, he does have the Snorlax. Snorlax. would be really strong in your match. Yeah, but it can't win a battle in its sleep. Maybe you should have tried to Snorlax wake up Snorlax is... before we got to the Pokemon you need Center. One... You should have Thanks got a flute much. from that dude you know, just in case it. you ever Besides, caught a Snorlax. Sure yeah, man. Okay. Yeah. Me, you gotta go with here? the flow. Sure. 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 Well, when was the last time your Snorlax ate? I guess about an hour ago. She's like, you're a terrible trainer. Yeah, right. Wake him up. <laughs> you don't know? She's like, he takes up a lot of space. Can you get him out of out of my hallway? Like, come on. They don't have a special transfer at the Pokemon Center to go back to Oak? And that could take days. What a nightmare. I like how Nurse Joy is not concerned at all. I'm not sure which Pokemon I want to switch for Snorlax. Yeah, and how do we figure out what Pokemon to pick when we don't even know which ones the gym leader's going to use? Yeah. See, it's important what to know you what your opponent's using. Well, you could pick Kingler. Its huge claw won a crushing victory for you at the Pokemon League. Then there's Muck, Muck. the amazing bulk that wilted Belt. The amazing bulk. Yes, or what a great description. Tauros, the snorting, stomping, stamping. He's got a hundred Tauros. So, which one is it going to be? So they're like all vying for position on the camera. I'm gonna go with Tauros. I love that. But how does he know which Tauros? Because they have so many different stats. That's what I said. Per There's like a hundred of them. <laughs> it's like the one favorite Tauros that's well behaved. Yes. <laughs> the others just stampede. No matter what. Yep. I know Tauros will try really hard and maybe I can win again. The beginner's luck factor might work. Yeah. I love how all the video for. phones in the entire series okay, are that green like here. that. I'll begin the transport now. Have a nice sleep, Snorlax. Wonder if you could send it over in a fancy ball. Maybe a GS ball? Yeah, yeah, right. I choose you! Tauros! Let's see if Tauros like absolutely destroys everything immediately. Thanks for all your help, Professor. Ash? I wish you the best of luck. Say hi to your Tauros, dude. Well, Tauros, I'm glad to have you I know. He turned his hat backwards and sent it out anyways. And uh, <laughs> th then his hat was forward, so. <laughs> I will not let that, that go. <laughs> I know. There's got to be some way to capture that dragon knight. Yeah, you got to battle it, Team Rocket. I would love to see a little truck like this driving around the neighborhood. Look at that sweet paint job. I want to do that. Hey, they finally found a challenger. I wonder if we'll get to see Dragonite. Ah, I just got a great idea. The challenger should be Meowth. That Dragonite's too tough for us to capture, but not if we let that challenger soften it up. Tell us more. How are we going to do it? <laughs> it's like Meowth really is the brains of, of this Team Rocket operation, like for sure. Meowth is in charge, like absolutely. Pokemon fan. All right, so we got Drake with his Book of All Plus around his neck. <laughs> no, that's where he keeps his Dragonite. Yeah, right. Oh. I sure have heard a lot about you. Look at my perfect hair. The trainers begin with the traditional handshake. This is actually Leon's Ash descendant. Yeah, right. Trophy match. I'm real happy to be here, Drake. No, it would be the, be the dragon, uh, the dragon Lance. gym leader. Are Lance. You battle? Yeah. No, for a while I was thinking from Galar. Uh, that's uh, Caterpie. <laughs> uh, Weedle. Because it's got the little nubs there. Yes. Oh, uh, I was right. This is a full six-on-six six Pokemon battle. When three of one trainer's Pokemon are unable to battle, there'll be a field change. What's a field change? So, I love that change is the transformation of the battle Pokemon area. gyms the gym always have this hyper-technical ability battle. to, like, transform the themselves. That's the greatest. At time. It's so cool. The battle will begin on a rocket water field. 
This winner's trophy match is about to begin. Like so being like a little kid Good seeing this, I would be like, yes, we'll check out cool that is. The whole terrain changed. I can't believe this. The twerp. The twerp. Things more interesting. I hope this one oh, does it? Impression. All right. So three. It's one. Oh, ditto. It's a ditto. How cute. I think Ash is right. way too excited to yeah. see the ditto. <laughs> does he have his Pokedex on him during the battle? <laughs> Ditto's trick. This isn't gonna be an easy one. Now let's see which of his six hmm. Pokemon the challenger will choose. Pikachu, I'm gonna start off with you, okay? Pika, oh, you can't go wrong right starting with Pikachu. Pikachu. That's well, a, that's Pikachu a, can just defeat anybody. Yeah. I love, I love determined and angry Pikachu. Like when Pikachu gets real fired up and you all determined, and his eyebrows start like going down. I love that. So cool. Let's go, Pikachu. Use your thunder. The Ditto still has poor IVs, so. Despite the super shock, Ditto still standing strong. Ditto, thunder attack. You know, the music in the background is so good. Like, with the announcer, it just totally reminds me of, of like, playing Pokemon Stadium on N64. Like the oh yep, so, yep. The, dude, the AI announcer was so good for back in the day. What? Looks awesome. Uh oh. So cool. Ooh. Oh no, Pikachu is banged up. Whoa. Oh, look how cute that Ditto Chew looks. I would have loved wow. it if they would have had the eyes as just the dots. Yes. Pikachu. Yep. And Pikachu's good against himself because they've dealt with a Pikachu before. They have dealt with other Pikachu before, correct. And Raichu. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, who, do you, who else would you want to use here from, from the team? Uh-oh. Oh, no, Pikachu. Oh, no, Pikachu. Oh, look, Pikachu's all bruised up. It's great. Wow. Do something, Pikachu. This Ditto is on fire. I know. Oh, no. Pikachu's hanging on despite Ditto's thunder. Oh, no. Pikachu, use your quick attack. Pika. I love, I always loved how they animated quick attack in the, in the anime. They did just like, it almost like yeah, teleporting. It's so cool. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that looks sick. That's the thumbnail right there. It's like two Pikachus clashing in the midair. Oh, get some. Uh, that, that's that's Electric Tail or Iron no, Tail. That was legit. Ditto is unable to battle. That was Pikachu awesome. All right. All right. See, this is why I love League League episodes. You get real battles. That was awesome. That was totally awesome. Wow. But it can't control or change its basic physical condition. Ditto got worn out because Pikachu's in better shape. See, Pikachu has better IVs. That's really what it came down to. Yep. You did a great job. And so did you, Ash. You better breed, breed up on your ditto, run. dude. <laughs> oh, Onyx. All right, who do you bring? Who do you bring versus Onyx? Uh, he could do his Tauros and then use Earthquake. Does he even know what moves Tauros knows? Nope. Maybe they I hope they had some prep time, like, before the match. Like, Tauros. His hat's backwards. Do Earthquake. 
It's forward. Ah, that's nice. I know that's <laughs> the greatest <laughs> picture of Squirtle ever. That's just what I thought he'd do. I don't know, Misty. This one could go either way. Uh oh. It looks like the experience of Drake may may come down on Ash right now. Uh oh. Uh, uses dig. Oh, Why did yes. Squirtle hesitate? Squirtle hesitated. Because like, Ash, really Ash called like the, the attack first. Bit. Squirtle has no idea where... Oh, no, poor Squirtle. We'll see him confused because when this, when the gym opened up, there was like a metal barricade underneath the rocks. So, like, where did Onyx go? Into the metal barricade? <laughs> Oh, dude, Squirtle got rocked. Whoa. <laughs> the announcer's like, sending him flying. Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. He's like, I can't. I'm being squeezed. <laughs> Squirtle squirming. Squirtle squeeze. Oh, no. This round goes to me. This round isn't up yet. No matter how fast Onyx is, Squirtle has the advantage. What? Squirtle, hide your bump attack now. Whoa, multiple holes. <laughs> Onyx, dive underground again and get away from that attack. Oh, he went, he went full sprinkler mode. <laughs> How do we know Squirtle, it's cold water? Oh, yes. Look at how small Squirtle is. It's like the size of Onyx's eyeball. But it's nighty night for Onyx. Go Squirtle. That is awesome. This Pikachu's is fully healed. About. We needed these battles. Well rested. He had some berries. <laughs> Bind did not stop Squirtle, dude. That Ash kid isn't bad. Yeah. Oh, Ash is starting to earn the favor of the crowd. This time you don't stand a ghost of a chance. And we've got Gengar. Gengar? Ash has some understanding of Gengar. Yeah, he's also been a ghost before, so he understands. Ash, being Ash in fact, yes, has been a ghost himself. Ash has become a Gengar before, so he knows. Which Pokemon? Thanks, Tracy. Oh well, now's as good a time as any for a little beginner's luck. I choose you. Hats backwards. Oh my gosh, the one thing with only physical attacks. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, unless it has earthquake. <laughs> He's like Tauros. Use Razor Leaf. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait a second. Wait a second, there's some strategy here. Here it comes, that vision's headed straight for Gengar. All right, Gengar, jump now. And Gengar's like, let me just float in the air. I was like, yeah, I can float, dude. Now the Gengar's taken to the sky, ground attacks are useless, and Charles is in trouble. Oh no, ground attacks are useless. Ash, you need to read the manual on Tauros. Oh no. Tauros' mind just got split in half. <laughs> oh no. Tauros is in bad shape. It's not looking good. So, it's not like he, he can't bring Tauros back out, right? It's just that, you know, they, they, can, they can keep battling until they, they're all knocked free or knocked out, right? Good move, Ash. Yes. Yep. I love the way they animate Gengar too. They always kind of like have him in the shadows, so he looks like black instead of purple. It's so cool. Right? Like it's like a black Gengar. It's so cool. 
Oh, that oh that looks so cool too. Wow. Oh, that looks awesome. That's the thumbnail. I love the animation oh, for that I Lapras. Oh, so good. Even that, the Pokemon's that looks awesome. powerful dramatic attacks have collided head on with explosive results. When the smoke clears, which one will be left standing? Gengar or Lapras? Oh, Find out in narrator. Our next exciting episode. Dude, they and, seriously and just how, Dude, and that's how you make a cliffhanger, dude. That's that's exactly how you do it. That is absolutely how you do it. Yes, that was awesome. That wow. Was, well, hold on. I know you shouldn't do this on an audio podcast, but well, well done. Well done, Pokemon. That was a great episode. <laughs> that, that was so good, dude. That was phenomenal. That was so good. We've needed an episode like this for so long. Nominal Team Rocket Interference and all battles. So good. Two thumbs up. That was awesome. Man. Whew. Good thing we'll have another continuation of this episode. I know. And hopefully know. it sticks true to the battles. And we get well, a lot of battles. It's it'll still be the same battle. The same battle isn't even done yet. So it's it's ah. Oh, well, you never well know. Ash could be like, "Oh, look, here's Pikachu All right. again." All right. Well, we got some positivity flowing right now. So I'm gonna open a booster, and I have Hidden Fates, and it is a shiny Charizard pack art. So what that means is that that energy is gonna transfer into my pack right now, and uh, give me a uh, you know. Shiny Charizard. All right. Well, so I have a Darkness I... of Blaze. Well, maybe you can get a Charizard it's, as well. It's got a. It's well. It's got a Grim Snarl on it. So. All right. Here we go. I could. Fire I could energy. still pull a Charizard. Magmar, Charmeleon, Chinx, Pikachu, Magikarp, Coughing, Clefairy, Staryu. My reverse is. Or no, my rare Hollow is a Ralts. Uh, my other rare That's is. That's a shiny Ralts. I got the shiny Ralts. Yeah. That's and a big deal. You're supposed to be like, yeah. Deal? Yeah, it's a is shiny it a big Pokemon. Deal? Okay. I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know. And then I got a regular Kangaskhan, non hollow. But yes, okay. Shiny Ralts. I'll take it. All right. All right. All right. Your turn. Your turn. All right. Opening a darkness ablaze. Can we pull something good? Okay. I've got a fire energy. A Shil- Shilonic, uh, Ursaring, Rose Tower, Nicket, Bound Sweet, Snubble, Meltan, Bunnelby. Reverse Hollow is a Rose Tower. And a Galarian Stunfisk V. Okay. Regular art. V card is okay. That's good. This thing's All got right. metal skin. That thing's a trap. All right. All right. Some decent pulls. Some decent pulls. All good right. stuff. Finally. All right. Awesome. Everyone, thank you so much for checking out the show. We really do appreciate it. Please check out gottawatchemall.com for everything going on with the show and pokemonprofessor.com for everything that's going on at the network. You can email us, info at gottawatchemall.com. You can leave us a text or a voicemail or a picture, 732-835-8639. Uh, we'd love to have you in our Discord. Please check out patreon.com slash pokemonprofessor. Thanks so much, Adam. Is that it? I think that's it. All right, remember, trainers, if you can't be out there catching them all, just hang out with us and watch them all. We'll see you next week.